This is an extreme long shot. It's used to establish the location of the scene. This shot is filmed from a high angle to let the protagonist seem small and weak. Now we get a little bit closer to the protagonist with the long shot. The location is still the dominant factor. This is filmed from a low angle to convey a feeling of reverence to the scene. In this medium long shot, we look at the female protagonist's whole body. There is a balanced relation between the protagonist and her surroundings. Gesture can be conveyed ideally in this frame size. Here we got an extreme close-up of the protagonist's thigh. In this frame size, an object or body part is shown frame filling. The viewer's attention is directed to a small detail. The head and shoulder close-up is used in scenes where facial expressions are important. The viewer can see where the protagonist is looking and thereupon draw conclusions to what he's up to. The male protagonist is seen from head to hip in this shot. This is called a medium close-up. This frame size matches the natural visual situation of us the best. Gesture is more important than facial expression. In a close-up, the face of the protagonist is shown. It emphasizes on the facial expression and can be used to show feelings. Here we've got another medium close-up, but the perspective is called the Dutch angle. The vertical axis of the camera stands in an angle to the vertical axis of the filmed situation. This conveys a strange feeling in the viewer. Something's not right. Another extreme close-up of a ring. I think you have lost this. We dissolve the scene with another medium close-up. Remember matches the natural visual situation the best. Also, the camera does a little tilt up to follow the female protagonist. The whole scene was filmed in a diffuse light situation to further the menacing feeling of the plot. I think you have lost this.